<laughs> What's up everybody? Lucius here back again. How y'all doing? It's the uh well I mean for those of you who still have essential jobs, it is the end of the work week, as many of you will know it. And uh whew, I am uh I'm getting too fat man. <laughs> uh Actually, I have only uh, Easter candy to blame. I went out, like, post-Easter that Monday. Oh, man, I attacked the, uh, the Target across from where I'm working. And I grabbed a bunch of Reese's peanut butter eggs, man. The best of the best, all right? I don't know why it took them years. There's times where, like, man, I... I don't know uh, if I was necessarily a smart kid, but I was like, why the hell... Is the world not in on this? Uh, the Reese's peanut butter eggs to me are like the perfect balance of the peanut butter center to chocolate shell. I'm talking about the ones that are uh, like in the six pack. Uh, I, I think they've made like a variety that's like a, like a really hard shell chocolate, um, like thick kind of crust chocolate that's uh, decorated with peanut butter inside. Not that, no. I'm talking about just the standard holiday issue Reese's peanut butter eggs, the best. And I was wondering my entire entire child life, why the hell is this not on the shelves all the time? These these are the best. They're the best. Uh, and eventually, uh, lesser versions, but they've done like all these holiday themed ones, like Valentine's Day, you get hearts. Uh, Halloween, you get pumpkins. Uh, Christmas, you get trees. Like they've expanded it out, just like Peeps. Why are Peeps only Easter? Now they're year round. They finally are like, oh, you know what? People will keep buying this beyond just Easter. You know, I, maybe is that like the uh, the candy company Christmas? You know, like a, a, like the sales spike up for all these places. And so they can afford to do that then? I don't know. Just like, why don't we separate the Skittles? Why do I have to suffer through the lesser Skittles for the ones I want? Uh, and they kind of caught on to that too. Uh, well, at least Starburst did. Starburst, uh, they like did stuff like the Fave Reds, or it's like strawberry, cherry, water, like the, the good flavors, like all bunched together, but there's still variety. I want single pack. All one flavor, except I probably wouldn't eat as many. It's uh, it cuts both ways. Um, did you enjoy the Mama Fox video? I don't have a new one. Uh, didn't see her, and I mean honestly, what you saw that's all you're gonna get. Uh, this like uh, paranoid eating uh, in the grass. That's essentially all that you get. Like I said, if the pups show up, I'll record it. I'll show some of that to you guys. Um, and, uh, let's see, I put up the uh, Jack Show piece, I kind of, I kind of screwed up the order of things. When I record these, it's like in the morning, I'm not going to be able to touch anything as far as editing software uploads or anything like that until I'm off work, which is also the same time I'm going to do art stuff, and I don't always remember what I tell you guys, so, uh, I think I was going to show you like a sketch of the uh, Jack Show thing I put up last night. Um, I just released it <laughs> as a thing like 30 minutes before the show. Uh, thanks for liking it if you did. It didn't get a lot of traction. Uh, as things that don't get retweeted by uh, the big names tend to do. But I, I know, I know, I feel the love. I feel it out there. Uh, still thinking on that $1,200. And then, like, I'm, I'm just, like, you know, jittery, you know? I'm, like, rubbing my hands and bouncing my shoulders and shit, thinking about it. Like, oh, man, that's easy money. It's funny money. You know, that funny money that you can just, like, throw at something you've been eyeing for a while. You, you were telling yourself, ah, oh, if I only had, you know, 500 bucks to blow, I'd get this. Now you do. Except you're watching, like, as, like... The world economy is like dipping over and over and over again. Uh, so 
maybe you best hold on to it. But I mean, if things get really bad, is that $1,200 going to be worth that much? You know? Is it going to be one of those things where it's like, you could have a barrel full of cash, it's still going to get you a loaf of bread. I don't know. I don't know. Is it going to get that bad? I don't know that it's going to get that bad. Holy Christ. I hope people have, have the uh, wherewithal to go back and, uh, you know, fill up the work rooms before it hits that level. Um, but, uh, man, the, uh, the one that Cecil retweeted got a lot of views. It got like 80 views. And you left it up to Lucius to figure out what to do with that silhouette. Uh, which is fine. Which is fine. Listen, I've been making these, these, uh, decisions by myself all the way through. I was just looking for a relationship between us to, uh, to form, you know? I was putting myself out there, you know? I was, I was dropping my lines, uh, throwing a wink here and there, and, uh, I was kind of, um... Ignored. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm the um, what, what would you call it? the motivational teacher? Uh, you know those films where it's like the school of hard knocks, uh, crime riddled. Uh, there's one smart kid who doesn't show himself up, and really they're all uh, filled with potential, but no one's been able to reach them. That's like me with you guys. I'm. I'm, I'm just wondering, how do I get through? How do I get through? If I could just engage them, if I could just get them to participate. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all good, I get it. Uh, a number of videos, a number of creators that uh, I enjoy. Um, and it's like, you, until you're in the, I guess, creation mode, uh, this is gonna be YouTube creator. And we're talking amateur off the ground creator woes. Um, that goes on is like you're looking for you're looking for signs that you're going the right direction um, or that people enjoy what you do and you only have like the thumbs up thumbs down you have view count in a way but then you start wondering in your head well I thought it was a good thing like a cool thing that you're more you get more engagement than you have subscribers but then it's like wait that just means a bunch of people watched this and they didn't want to subscribe to me. Um, okay, uh, I I don't know. Maybe I'll win them in the end. Who knows? You know, more more things like this, they'll finally do that. You know, I don't take uh, subscribing to a channel lightly. Um, and even then, I have I don't know how many channels I subscribe to and like I haven't gone back to in, in months. You know, just because it's like I I had that. You know, period of time. Oh, we're not listening to that Michael Jackson song. No way. Um, sorry, I'm not for the Michael Jackson ballad songs. Not my jam. We're getting to the newer stuff. We need to go back. Hold on. There we go. Uh, <laughs> the the start of the uh, transition. Uh, well, no, I guess he always was, wasn't he? But I feel like it was post Thriller. It wasn't bad like the next thing. I feel like it was. I'm no expert, all right? I'm no expert. Um, oh, road construction. Where were you guys all these days before where nobody was on the roads? I just barreled through that. Well, not barreled through, but I had the sign in my favor for once. Every other time it's been stop. That was slow. Go slow. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I also feel like, man, if I only had to do this like a week, week by week, I'd probably be a little bit better filling up the air. It's tough, man. Like, I'm talking to myself. You realize I'm talking to myself in a car on my way to work, thinking out loud. Um, and I'm doing it like day after day. And there's a lot of takes. I'm just like, oh, that's really bad. Uh, and I feel like I'm, I'm partially, uh, Influence. I mean, I am, yeah, by the uh, the road and what's going on with it. Uh, like when that, <laughs> that cop came up behind me, I lost all train of thought. I, I'm telling you, I had, I thought I have 75% chance, I bet right now, of them pulling me over. Um, it was just like I was caught dead to rights. I was right in front of them. And the nature of what it was, like it was like a, a um, on-ramp, I guess you'd call it. 
uh, I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm merging in. And, like, it's one of those things where it's like you got, I don't know, 15, 20 yards. Not that much space. It's one of those quick ones. You can't just be hesitant or whatever. And people are moving along. 60 to the speeding types, 80 miles per hour. You can't just, like, go to a dead stop and then try to merge. Like, you got to go flow traffic, throw yourself in there. I just happened to do that in front of a cop car. <laughs> uh, but I was at least a little... I gave me, I, I gave myself that uh, 25% chance because, you know, judging everyone else's speed around us, in front of me, behind us, everyone was going that speed. So maybe this guy's going to be cool. But I was sweating it the whole way. He might have had like a destination in mind and then he saw my, my lily ass and I was like, oh, you know what? I think, um, I think we might have a, a ticket ready to go here and just like troll me and, and like at the point where he thinks like he might have lose the whole ability to uh, ticket me, pull me over or something. You know how they do that. They'll, they'll come up behind you. You know they got you. You're dead to rights. But they just go a little extra longer. Not to mention, I've seen the cases where they drive like complete douchebags. Like dead at night. I don't know what kind of car it is, but all of a sudden they're like tailgating my ass. Um, and it's like the SUV ones and I'm just in a car, you know? So their headlights and my rearview mirror are like blinding me, even though they don't have those annoying like uh, LED ones, but it's still like it's just the alignment. And I'm like, when cars do that, like I want to pull away. And I think they know that, they know that. And they're being dickheads trying to catch you out. And you're kind of like in the back of my head, you know, this is usually around like uh, midnight or later. I'm just like, you know what? If this was any other asshole driver, they'd just go around me. Maybe this is a cop car. And I'm telling you, it's like a 50-50 chance. I don't, I don't understand those drivers who like literally have to come up behind you, but they do. They come up behind you, uh, ruin their own flow of motion, uh, like drop their speed which was clearly faster than you and like stay there for like five seconds only to go around you like why didn't you just move into the other lane before you got to me what the are you, what anyways I, I could go on forever about <laughs> the shit that drives me crazy driving um whew. I think uh I suddenly find myself empty of empty of thought. <laughs> uh, I hope you all guys are uh, enjoying your quarantine. You know, are you biting by it or are you just like, fuck it, I'm done. I don't care for this shit anymore. You might wear your gloves and your mask. Come on, come on. You know, you know, it's only like a, I don't know. It's like a hockey pads stopping a bullet. Maybe, I don't know. Right you know, speed, deflection, maybe uh, have like an extra hard part to your cocky pads, but you're not really stopping bullets. Like, come on. You know how you don't get shot? You don't do something to get yourself shot. That's how you don't get shot. That's the number one way. <laughs> don't put yourself in a situation to get shot. Don't put yourself in a situation to get the COVID, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hope you all are enjoying this time. And uh, I'll catch you uh, tomorrow, maybe. I got the weekend off. I'm gonna try to finish those sample pages, which is a lot to do, but uh, I can probably at least get the inks done. Uh, coloring and stuff, man, that's still a lot to do. Uh, take it easy. Later.